Every week, ferries unload about 1,500 Venezuelans onto this dock in Cedros. That's much heavier traffic than the tiny port is accustomed to, all because it happens to be just seven miles from the Venezuelan coast. Of the 3.4 million people who've left Venezuela since it descended into crisis, Trinidad and Tobago has proportionally received the most, about 60,000, or more than 4% of the island country's population. But Trinidad has not given them any kind of legal status. Adults are not allowed to work, and children do not have the right to a public education. So they live underground, and many Trinidadians have taken it upon themselves to help. Venezuelans in Trinidad are faced with many difficulties in addition to the language barrier. Therefore, a causa de ese tema candente, es importante que creemos nuevas estructuras para que lleguen al nivel adecuado. Barely know Spanish, and we don't really know how to like interact with them. So we think that everything is in you know, a like O and A in the endings, but that's not really how it is. And well, my personal experience with the language, the language barrier itself is I have cousins from Venezuela, and they understand English because their parents obviously speak English at home, but it's difficult for them to speak the English language. I don't know why it's difficult for them to learn. I guess it's just as hard for us to learn to speak Spanish as they speak English. Um, yeah, that's true. So from my experience, I know a family. It's, they all came from Venezuela. They have been here for around maybe three or four years. The children are young, maybe seven or eight, and they picked up on Sp um, English way easier from listening to everyone talking and words and then aside from sentences. But their mother, she has been here for this entire time and she has refused to learn English because for her, it's coming out of her comfort zone. So what happens now to the children, mostly speak English and they are there to translate for their mother. And again, she has no willingness to learn the English language.